What is good y'all, John D. Saunders here. In today's video, I'm taking a sneak peek into Wix, new and improved Wix Studio. This thing has everything inside of it to run, design, and develop your favorite websites in record time. So let's dive in, let's look at a sneak peek inside the platform. I'm gonna show you some of the benefits of Wix. Let's dive in. From Wix to Framer, Webflow, Squarespace, I've used all the platforms and I got a chance, an opportunity to jump into Wix Studio a couple weeks ago and I've been playing around in the platform and realized that it literally has everything encompassed into one. You've got client billing, subscriptions, client success, ticket submission, AI design. I mean, there's so many really cool resources that I've seen in Wix that I've been proven wrong before. And this again shows me that Wix is going to become a power player in this space. So I want to show you all what the inside of Wix Studio looks like, the things I like about it, and the really forward thinking assets and things that it's doing just really well in this space. So as soon as you log into the studio, you've got menu items here on the left and at the top, you can access your website and then you have a, a platform inside of that, but I want to show you some of these tabs on the side. So one thing that I love is this discover section. This goes over any releases, any recent websites that have been made with Wix Studio. I can look here and then you can manage a lot of this through the mobile app. Now under sites, I've got my test site here that I've built on one of the frameworks, which I'll show you a little bit later. Then you have custom templates where I can build out a site, leverage that template, and I can actually sell that as an offer to my clients. And then we have custom app integrations, which works really well. One thing I love about Wix Studio is that you can inject this into different coding languages and really create a seamless experience with your website. Now, one really cool thing that I love, and this is something that we have to do manually when we're using other platforms, is this client success area. So essentially, you can add video tutorials, you can add helpful files and other resources, and you can add details so clients can reach out to you. So it's almost like a other side or another portal that they log into through this Wix Studio portal, which essentially Editor X has turned into this huge platform where now you can add those details and those customers can reach out to you. Now, if I hit start now, I can link this to my website. And once I'm here in the site, I have a checklist right at the top to kind of walk me through these items. And then I can see any recent activity on the website or the app that I've integrated. Now, here's where the website's managed and it'll pull in your site speed and other tools and resources that you can leverage on your site. But one thing that I really liked here is this integration for customers. And so essentially what I can do is I can go to invoices, price quotes. As an agency owner, this is really helpful because it integrates everything in one. One issue that we found with other platforms is we, we essentially have to cover the hosting cost for the customer. And then they pay us through a third party platform like FreshBooks or any type of like payment processor. Through this, I can actually run the website for our client and then send them invoices to pay directly on this specific site, which is just a, an amazing benefit that makes all this seamless in one platform. Wix Studio is doing a really good job at that. I can set up recurring invoices. I can even do financial integrations like Stripe and other items that will tie in here. And then I can also do price quotes for additional assets or things that I want to offer clients. So that could be monthly maintenance. That could be ongoing work. That could be separate engagements. I can manage all that through this portal here within the website. So again, you have Web Wix Studio and then within that you have your websites and within each website you have almost like this individual portal that just works really seamlessly throughout the process. Another piece, of course, analytics and reporting contingent to this website. I can add this to reporting for the client as well and also look at sales overview, real-time analytics. And one more important piece, especially from offering SEO, is site speed and ways to expedite that process. Then, of course, you've got marketing and SEO, which is really awesome. I can set up all the SEO and integrate this SEO assistant into all the things that I'm doing website wide. And I love the fact that I can bring in GSC or Google Search Console to integrate that data and see everything all in one. I mean, I've never seen anything like this to the effect of it's bringing in all these components into one place and a main dashboard that you can leverage. It's 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 really it's really great to see y'all, especially in 2023 when there's so many different tools. This just brings in everything pretty seamlessly. Then, of course, we have the blog where other team members can access this portal and jump in. 
And this is overall what that website piece looks like in the Wix Studio. If I click the main Wix Studio button, it takes me back out. And now I'm back in this main area. Everything that I was accessing before was within the my site area of the website. Now, what I do want to show you is a little bit of a preview, a sneak peek, because I have some more content coming out regarding this, regarding the, the site editor and, and creating websites within the framework. So I'm going to go into select site. I'm using an existing template right now just to show you all what this looks like. And so when I go into the website, of course, you know, I see the checklist. I see all that information here. I'm going to go here to edit site. And now it's going to bring me directly into Wix Studio. This is essentially the biggest piece of the component where I can look at the full website scope and be able to build out. So think of this as like a new and improved editor X platform that takes everything that you need. So here I go. Here's my website here. As you can see that I have this built out. This is actually based on a template. Um, all the assets and items are here and let me zoom in a bit so you can see this better. So we have the different layers, the structure of the website, essentially all the sections from header to section of the page which as I click, you can see they get highlighted in each section. We also have all of the site pages. So these are all the website pages. I just added a blog or a CMS component to this maybe 45 minutes ago. So we'll take a look at that too. And then of course you have global sections, which are on every page. That's the header and the footer. You can see the differentiated in green to show that these are different, more global settings, sections that are on every single web page. Then of course, We've got all of our typography and typefaces. This is all web-based, so you don't have to worry about it bogging down your website bandwidth. Whoops. And then we also have the app manager, custom apps, anything I want to integrate. And then we can inject some, some third-party code here, essentially JavaScript to add some really cool components to the website. One really cool feature that I want to show you all is this AI integration. So let me go ahead and show you all what that looks like. I'll do more of a deep dive and, and more of the upcoming content, but ultimately I'm just going to add a section here. As you can see, really easy to do. I'm going to do this uh, split right here. And then what I can do here is I can do a few things. One, I can double click. And now that I have my sections here, I can add in a few things like images. And then I can maybe add in something else. And of course you have kind of free range to kind of move this around. I'm going to use a, this to create an AI image. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to say forest landscape. And then I can choose the style, which would be photo. Let me move my big old head over here and I'm going to hit create images. And now I'm able to, this is, this is really cool. Y'all I'm able to leverage the AI tool for image creation within the framework of, of building my website. So as you can see, those images are loading up. Boom. We've got a bunch of images here. I'm going to use this one and then I'm going to move my big old head right back here and then crop ratio. Let's do original. And then I'm going to hit save. Okay. Now I've got my image here and I can kind of expand this a bit to fit within the framework there. And then there's a, there's a ton of other things that I can do here as well. So I can go here and I'm just going to add a title and then I'm going to add a paragraph. Oops. And then what we can also do here is I can integrate some AI text here too. So if I click here and I hit create AI text, my business type is a clothing store or actually public park. And then the name is public parks USA. And then we're going to do a, a paragraph. What's the topic? Um, mention our beautiful Sequoia trees. Hope I'm spelling Sequoia, right? If not, don't blame me y'all. And then we're going to hit create text. It's automatically going to create this. So I, I can leverage these tools to add AI components. I'm just going to use this one, use text. Welcome to public parks USA, where we strive to provide safe and enjoyable outdoor recreational experiences for everyone. Our parks are designed with your needs in mind, X, Y, Z. So as you can see, I've got some text here already that I can leverage in this overall design. And it took me less than 30 seconds. Beautiful parks. I can also say, let's generate AI text and let's just do a title and then create that text. And then once that's done, you can see there, it's kind of a little bit too long. Boom, all set. So I've got my section here that I've built with, with AI, which is, I'm telling y'all, it's, it's really fun to be able to initiate and do this uh, in real time. So again, I can start to build these building blocks in my website. 
All of this done within Wix Studio. I don't have to leave. I don't have to exit or go anywhere else. It's all built in right here in the framework. And I'll, I'll get more into detail on these site edits and changes that you can make on the site. But you pretty much have free control to be able to do what you want. Also, tons of templates that you can use as well. So if I go back, I see sites. I can hit create new site. And then once I go here, I can do start from a template. And there are just some really cool templates here that I can use all with a really modern, clean aesthetic. I can also say, well, let me start with a wireframe and then I can click a wireframe and start here from this framework. I mean, there's just so many resources here that you can leverage. I'm blown away at the fact that this platform has encompassed so many resources and tools that web designers and freelancers have been looking for for a long time and really excited to see what's coming up next. So check it out when y'all can. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you all for checking out the content. Again, I'm going to be posting more web design, AI development, and more tips as the year progresses. So make sure you subscribe and check the description below for details on signing up for the platform. If you have questions, drop them in the comments as well, and I will see y'all next week. Peace.